my channel. So, New Year is coming. I mean, yeah, I know that it's still like mid-December, like the holidays aren't even here yet, but I like being early. So, I bring you a planner video. I've been learning a lot on how to use my planner and what works for me lately. So, I want to show you guys some DIYs, tips, hacks and things like that. So I hope you like it a lot and if you are new to my channel and you think, who is this girl? Mm, hi, I am Sue, welcome to the channel and if you like DIYs, I think you're gonna love this channel so don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. So let's go ahead and start with the video. So there are a lot of planners out there but my favorite setup is the Kiki K folder with the Erin Condren pages inside. But the problem here is that both of them are like really expensive. The Kiki K's usually are like $80 and the Erin Condren uh, usually I think is like $30 but I don't live in the United States so it will be really expensive the shipping. It's a mess. But I think it's the perfect setup to put like a lot of stickers and I really like stickers. So I made a video a while ago on how to make your own Kiki K folder and also the Erin Condren pages which are a little bit bigger than an A5 and the thing is that this setup is just a little bit too big for me so I wanted something a little bit smaller and I found this planner mm. I found this planner on Aliexpress, this is the Macaron Planner. I think it's one of the like cheapest planners that you can find out there. It was only 12 euros for me. The prices change a lot, so you have to do your research first. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. And now I'm going to show you how to make the Erin Condren pages, well similar pages, but with the true A5 size. So, start up opening an office document, you can use InDesign or Photoshop or any program you want and make a line down the middle like this. Then create rectangles with the size of the Erin Condren, um, a smaller one for the header and then you can write morning, like morning, day and night. And copy and paste this so you get three each day. Copy the whole thing um, to make more days like this and for Saturday and Sunday we will just make one rectangle like this. Then write the name of the weekdays, leaving a gap for the number and print the pages out. Don't forget to print them on both sides of the paper and cut down the line in the middle to get a 5 size pages. I like rounding my corners and then you can go ahead and punch the holes and they are ready! Ta-da! The pages of course are undated, so what I did was simply write the numbers like this in an office document and also the name of the month, just the first three letters and print them out in label paper or sticker paper. I happen to have a 1cm punch, so I use that for this. You can simply cut them and it will work just fine. Just stick them to your planner. And as you can see, in my case, the circles were a little bit too big, so yeah, you just be aware of it and make them kind of small. Now I'm going to show you how I made this adorable dashboard with a pocket on the back. So I just like searching digital papers online instead of like buying a scrap of paper. There are a lot of free ones online, really really cute. So I just download the paper and place each one of them on each half of the paper. That way I save paper and you can print them out and cut them. One of them you just need to cut them slanted like this to make the pocket and then glue them together. Uh, to protect the dashboard I covered this side with book covering plastic. You can use a laminator too, I just don't have one. And cut the excess plastic. Punch the holes. 
and round the corners if you want and glue down your sticky notes. And that's it, you can keep your stickers in the pocket and I think it's really really cute. As for stickers, there are also tons of options online. You can buy them printed or in printables, but there are actually also a lot of really cute free printables online, like these cute flamingo ones. And a trick when printing them is choosing the save toner or ink option, that way you can save up to 15% of ink. When cutting them, you can use a paper cutter, just regular scissors, but that way the thing is that it gets super annoying to peel the sticker from the back paper. So a little trick here or hack is using a cutter or an exacto knife and a ruler like this, but making sure you don't make a lot of pressure, so you just cut the first paper and not the back paper. Just take your time figuring out how much pressure you need to add and it gets peeling them super easy like this. So when planning my weeks, usually I use the top part for my to-do list, the middle section just for decoration, and I also like adding a to-buy list, and I cover this part with washi tape. This one was kind of expensive, but it went with my nails, so I had to have it. And I use the bottom part for highlights of the day, and here is the sticker of the month that I showed you before. And I also added this cute snowflake sticker since we are in winter and the pre-planning is finished. I think it turned out really really pretty and I can't wait to start planning for this week. To make a cover you can download pictures online that you like and then cover half of the page. So as I said before it has the right size, you can write quotes too, I also added a circle, you can personalize it however you want and then print it out. And I decided to stick it to this glitter paper, but you can leave it as it is too and your cover is super ready. There are different ways to make dividers, but I made a guide rectangle with the A5 size. And then I made my image a little bit wider like this. Then delete the guide and you can write a quote or anything you want. I made three of them. And I cut the excess paper. Now it's the tricky part. I took the first one and I cut a tab at the top part. And then cut a strip until I reach the tab. Then I use that to mark the second tab and cut following the marks and also cut a strip except the tab part obviously and I repeat it for the last one. I hope it was understandable, it's kind of more difficult to explain than to make it but yeah this is the final result. Other little DIYs in my planner are this tassel bookmark that I made in my back to school video, I will link it down below. These journaling cards to make them just print any pic you want in 4 by 3 inches and then round the corners. And these clips that I also made in my back to school video. For this pocket I placed just some cute stickers and my planner is ready. As you can see, you just need imagination and a printer, obviously, to make your dream planner come true. So that was it, I hope you liked this video, a uh, thumbs up if you did, and also thumbs up if you want to see more DIY planner ideas. And if you try any of these ideas, don't forget to tag me in a picture on Instagram or Twitter. YouTube is being crazy lately, so... Check out if you are subscribed to this channel actually and don't forget to click the little bell so you get a notification each time I upload the video. Have a lovely lovely week and thanks for watching. Bye!